Hi everyone, it's John Dyslexic Geek here. Today is a very exciting day. Lego have finally unveiled the UCS Venator, the set which has been rumoured for a long while. Uh, I do believe images of the box did leak over the weekend, but I wanted to wait for the official uh, unveiling by Lego to get full details of it and do a video on it. And I'm super thrilled to actually make this video now. I mean, this is such an exciting day. As you can see, the set which is going to be launching on October the 4th for non-members and October the 1st for VIP members or insiders as they are now. And as you can see, will be costing $650, £560 or €650. Euros. Uh, now, this is a lot of money, but it's a bit less than what I was expecting. Um, I was really fearing that the set would be over sort of £700, similar, similar to the scale of the uh, UCS ATAT, but it's a lot less than maybe I was expecting, so that's really quite good to see. And as you can see, this is my first look at it with you guys, so I'm really taking this all in with you. It's going to contain 5,374 pieces, and it looks fantastic. It really does look good. Uh, now we can actually get a first look at it. Uh, I know the, the leaked images, but they didn't have much to go on. And it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, just judging by the, the, the stand, it looks absolutely huge. Um, God knows where I'm going to put it, but wow, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's amazing. It really is. Uh, so if I look at the box, it does look great as a typical as, the, as all the other UCS um, uh, box arts. From every angle, I love it. It looks chunky. It looks imposing. I love the use of the red and the grey, it really does stand out. As much as I missed a huge um, UCS Star Destroyer from a couple of years back, I think this might be a, a, a bit more of an interesting set to look at, if you know what I mean. It's not all grey, I think it stands out a bit more, I think, but from every angle, look how good that looks. That looks just fantastic. And then from the back, you see the, um, the engines, they look just amazing. It looks huge. Oh, wow. Lego have absolutely knocked it out of the park. I do like it from that angle. That would be an absolutely awesome way to display it. Uh, yeah, that would be a really interesting angle, but it does look really good. So it looks like in here we've got a little bit of a hanger, I think, maybe. Is that I can see there? Uh, oh, even from below. Oh, from every angle, it just looks fantastic. Really does look good. So look at the, uh, the minifigures. Oh, one of the minifigures, anyway. It looks pretty Decent, I suppose. Not spectacular, if I'm honest. It looks fine. Um, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you see it like this. With it, oh, this gives you a sense of scale. How long it is. Just look at the length of that. That looks ginormous. Oh my god! Where, I'm, where on earth would I put it? It looks fantastic. So yeah, there is a. Um, a uh, it looks like there is a bit of a, a, a hanger there. It looks really good. Wow, it looks absolutely superb. I think Lego have absolutely nailed it. So look at some of the videos, do a 3D um, spin around. That does look really, really good. Absolutely outstanding from every single angle. It just looks phenomenal. Really, really does look amazing. Such a good job that Lego have done. So look at the promo video. Get, oh, look at the size of it, it's just ginormous. So look at the, the, the substructure, the, the te Technic frame. Wow, it just looks such a fun build. Oh my god, look at that. <sighs> Phenomenal. Looks like it's certainly lived up to every expectation. Looks like there we have got um, a hangar bay. Oh yeah, so you've got a little micro... Uh, is, that, is that a micro um, Republic gunship? I'm not quite sure, not very clear. That looks excellent, it really does. I'm super excited for this set. So I took some of, this, some of the details. So you get two minifigures, you get Captain Rex and Admiral Ulleran. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look how long it is. So it's 109 centimetres long, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh wow, 54 centimetres wide, so that's the thing to bear in mind, not only is it a huge, great big long uh, ship, it's actually wide as well, so it's, that's take that in consideration. Just looks phenomenal, really does. Looks just fantastic, looks like, oh, I can't wait for it, I really am so excited. Um, I think I will be buying this on day one, I've got all my VIP points saved up. Uh, I was going to use them on Gringotts, but I thought I'd keep them for this, because this is a lot more money. And normally at this price range, it's 
$650, £560. It's not really a, a set I could probably go out and buy otherwise. So I think I've got like four or £500 in VIP points to use up, or inside the points as they are now. So I might use half of them towards this to bring down the cost. I might keep the other half for maybe the, uh, start the Avengers Tower in November. I'll have to wait and see. But yeah, um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I really don't. You know, I think I need to get another bookcase before I do anything else. But uh, I'll buy it first, build it, then worry about the display any bit later on. But it just looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. Um, it's been long, long, long wait, worth the wait. It's been seems this been rumored for months now. It's finally so excited to finally get a look at it. Yeah, I think it's outstanding. Can't wait for it. Uh, not over what three weeks to go till it comes out. Two and a half weeks. Uh, so that's really, really good. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Lego do any kind of set signings for this. Uh, but then again, I don't know if I want to go out to London and but <laughs> I struggle carrying home uh, Gringotts. I don't know if I want to carry the home this on the tube. But if they could do a set signing, well, that would be quite, I wouldn't mind doing that. Just it'd be well worth it. So yeah, super excited. I uh, can't wait for this. So let me know in the comments. Is this a set you're going to be picking up on day one? Are you looking forward to it, or maybe you want to pick up later or later down the line? Um, could I please ask you to leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'd be very grateful if you consider subscribing today. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.